It's connected. Hello? Can you hear me, Wise? Don't worry. Barry and I will make sure you're safe. Just focus on the client. Oh, and don't forget the code word Shepard gave you. Flame Thunder. Um, Flame. Thunder. Two minutes and 55 seconds. That's how late you are for our meeting. In the Defense Force, disciplinary action would be warranted. As a penalty, 175 push-ups or 87.5 one-handed push-ups would be required. Can you show me what 0.5 of a one-handed push-up is supposed to look like? In the Defense Force, asking such silly questions would warrant double punishment. But it's not my duty to oversee the conduct of private citizens, nor is it my purpose in coming here. You're the proxy Shepard recommended? Remember, this conversation never happened, you've never met me, and what I'm about to say is confidential. You can call me Soldier 11 of the Defense Forces Obsidian Division. Shepard has given me your information, so it's only right I'm upfront about my identity. How is just telling us a code name being up front? You must have a real name, right? Lucy? Marie. Lucy Marie? Those sound like names you would hear in an old Civilization cowboy film. Is this a reflection of your sense of humor, second assistant? Be quiet. The client is about to explain the commission. Shepard tells me you're a highly skilled wanderer from the South with no local ties. Previously active under the name Crimson Twilight. I'm a bit reluctant to admit, but that's correct. It's me. A cowboy name is better than some of those you hear in old civilization cartoons, right? To keep it brief, my mission is simple. Catch a mole. We've recently identified a spy among our unit from a nearby rebel force who isn't yet aware his identity has been exposed. My superiors want me to use this spy to locate the rebels and eliminate them all at once. I will execute the plan myself and pretend to defect from the defense force to make contact with the spy. My fake defection is going well so far. I've made contact with them discreetly, but they've yet to completely trust me. But the operation isn't without merit. We've learned the spy is a great admirer of an industry-renowned proxy. With that proxy's support, he'd be willing to take the next step immediately to involve me in his secret missions, which will allow me to meet his superiors. And that's where you come in. I need you to pretend to be this proxy and help me follow the spy's instructions. Can you do this, Crimson Darkness? Who do I need to pretend to be? Are they famous in the industry? I don't know much about civilians, but even I've heard the name. Phaethon. This is gonna be trouble. Pretending to be Faithin. That's a job Faithin has yet to take on. Searching, pretending to be myself, online. Zero results found. Related results. I sell myself. I hit myself. I kill... How useful, Barry. How could we possibly live without you? Is everything all right, Crimson Gloom? You look troubled. It'd help if you could remember my name. I understand you likely feel a lot of pressure having to pretend to be Faithin. But Shepard would stake his career on your abilities, so I know you won't let me, the Defense Force, and the people of New Eridu down. So relax. Uh, it'd be weirder to relax after hearing that, right? I've posted the encrypted commission details on Internaut. That's how you normally do things, right? I'll contact you after you've checked the details and accepted the commission.
job-wise. Soldier Levin didn't seem to realize you live here. I never thought we'd get a commission from the new Eridu Defense Force. Not to mention something top secret like catching a mole. It's bound to be dangerous. What should we do? Do you want to accept it? Or should we decline and leave Shepard to his own luck? If we handle this commission well, the new Eridu Defense Force will be indebted to us. Surely that would be useful in the future. That's true. The commission is already uploaded to the proxy network. Check it out when you make up your mind. One, two, yes, all accounted for. Ready for combat. <gasps> Standing by. Andy, in position. will come online in five seconds. He goes by the name Mr. Mole. Five, four, three, two. Mr. Mole, I have brought Phaethon. I'm sure you're close by. If it's convenient, why don't we discuss this in person so we can begin the operation immediately? I want to leave the Defense Force as soon as possible. I plan to buy a blackcurrant farm with your payment. Then spend the rest of my days with my canine Thyron maid in the tranquil countryside. I take it all back. Compared to Soldier Eleven's backstory, there's nothing unusual about Crimson Twilight. You're very quiet? I thought you'd always admired Phaethon. <laughs> oh, I can't see you through remote communication, but uh, I smell deception. <laughs> There's no free lunch in this city. A legendary proxy like Phaethon has had numerous achievements throughout their career. <laughs> There's no way someone like that would work with a nobody like me. Not on a trivial chore like stealing military info. <laughs> you call that trivial? If we're lying, and I'm not Phaethon, may my instant noodles always be missing the seasoning packets for the rest of my life. Uh, Fire Lizard Inferno extra spicy cup noodles without its seasoning packet is like... like a soldier without their weapon, general, or homeland. Unimaginable. We understand your sincerity now. Bap, bap, bap. Wait a moment. I'm just not feeling it. The Defense Force is going to conduct weapons testing in this hollow. To show your good faith, I want you to help me set up military transmitters around the area. You talk the talk, but if you want me to believe you're the real Phaethon, you'll have to walk the walk. We need to deploy transmitters here. We have three target locations in total. It's up to you where to place them. Arrived at target point number one. Deploy the transmitter. Fairy now computing. <laughs> Say something. 
At least deny it. A clean and efficient job. Well done. Phaethon saves the day again. Dispelling a client's doubts with mere words should be a cinch for a, a legendary proxy like you, right? Excuse me? Are you trying to tell Phaethon how to do his job? Mr. Mole. What have you got to say? I'm hurt. You're being quite rude, despite me putting in all this effort to get faith in here. Suspicious and probing. That's no way to show respect to such a legendary proxy. In fact, I really didn't want to bring it up, but I paid a staggering price to get faith in here. So I want this collaboration to work more than anyone else here. <clears throat> right, Faithen? Yes, I was very impressed. Especially when you did half of a one-handed push-up. What? Sergeant, you... Uh, you're right. I should have known. Why would someone like Faithen want to work with me? <laughs> I never would have guessed it was you, Sergeant, making such a sacrifice. My attitude is unacceptable. The cost isn't important. It's the result that matters. Such is the life of a soldier. There's no time to lose, Faithen. Time to place the next beacon. And all thanks to you. This Mr. Mole guy. He might still have some doubts, but he seems to trust us for now. All thanks to Soldier Eleven's help. You're doing good, Wise. Keep it up. Careful. Betrayal is our enemy's nature. Master, we have arrived at target point number two. Deploy the transmitter. Soldier 11 took the transmitter. Soldier 11 returned the transmitter. Enough. No need to talk. Just do it. Fairy now computing. Setup complete. Let's go to the next location. Legendary proxy lacking financial means. Suspicious, Mr. Mole. Valve status analyzed. 
The valve opens only once sufficient gear coins have been inserted. A secret path. Not extracting carrot data. Mr. Mole has been here and found nothing. Mr. Master, Mr. Mole seems to be lying. Memo, this is private room number 15. Crossed out. Military assets. Traps are set on both sides. at target point number three. Deploy the transmitter. Based on past experience, Master, I suggest confirming if Soldier 11 has other arrangements. Soldier 11 is wiping her goggles. Fairy now computing. Finished so fast, and with such skill and such finesse. My word, there's no faking that. Oh, I want to run over and worship every inch of ground that faith and sets foot on. Wait, there's too much at stake to make such a quick decision about their true identity. And I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure I can smell a rat. Ah, uh, yes, mm, smelly. Oh, rats. Quick reminder, you're still connected? I hear a strange noise. Is there a problem with the connection? I can't say I don't understand how you feel. Faith, uh, Proxy, you understand? It's only human to be curious. After all, as Faith... Faithen is a living legend. They know everything possible about the Hollows. Even school kids in New Era do know that. Big words. Not even the Hollow Investigative Association says they know everything about the Hollows. Mr. Mole. Huh? Since we're conversing in real time, you must also be in this Hollow. It's just common sense. Believe it or not, my years of experience tell me that this hollow is about to become active. Ethereal activity is about to skyrocket. How come? The association didn't send out any ether warnings. Mr. Mole has no idea. Barry's a lot faster than the association. <laughs> That's a warning, Siren! How is that possible? Beating the association based purely on experience. Now that's what I call legendary! Those are ethereal tracks ahead. Get ready for a fight!
keep an eye out on your end as well, Mr. Moore. Dude, you're, you're concerned about my safety? <sighs> my face is so flushed, it's heating up the whole... <sighs> okay, then consider taking care of those ethereals as the marvelous conclusion to your little adventure. I'm going to hang up. Sorry to bother you. Ah, what phrase could ever befit your mighty reputation? I'll be sure to give all of it to you personally after battle. All right, the day's last challenge. of cake for Phaethon. I think I've earned your trust now. Am I? Oh, am I dreaming? I'm working with a real Phaethon right now. Oh, it's like I've been crawling in the gloom my whole life. Then today, the sun sheds a beam of light on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Mole. Now that that's done, I suppose our actual mission can proceed. <sighs> exactly. We'll take care of things on our end. Wait for me to contact you. Be quick. I'll give the sergeant her farm life dream, and I'll try to get the highest payment for Phaethon. <laughs> now that we're done talking business, can I ask you something? Was it really you who infiltrated the top vault through a sub hollow? And then at the old institute site, that perfect exit. Let me deal with some other matters first. Perhaps I'll tell you next time. Oh, okay. See you next time then. I'll miss you. And uh, I have a favor to ask. Next time we meet, uh, can I please get your autograph? Or uh, could you record a wake-up call for your little bone? <laughs> Did he hang up? How rude. What a loud mouth. He's a lot more chatty than I expected after he let his guard down. Anyway, let's get out of the hollow. That was a pretty smooth escape. Smooth? Pretending to be Faith in is quite challenging, actually. That went better than expected. I didn't use even half of the lines I prepared beforehand. Like, Faith in can sneak into anywhere with complete stealth. Not even a door sensor or infrared faucet could detect Faith in. Quick reminder, we agreed to remove that line back at rehearsal. I was worried when Shepard endorsed you, but you're pretty good. 
Well done, Proxy. I'll contact you when the spy starts to move. Good evening, Proxy. You're 35 seconds late. You can save those 17.5 one-handed push-ups for now. There's been some changes to our mission. Changes? Mr. Mole has a condition. He wants me to carry out this mission alone, instead of with his and his rebel support. Since we've got the famous faith in, one person should be enough to handle it, is what he said. Hang on. That's fine if everything goes smoothly. But what if it doesn't? Affirmative. If we get caught, people will think Soldier 11 is a traitor. Master, we should suggest the client reevaluate the risk. Is that so? I suggest you reevaluate the risk. I said yes. <sighs> After considering it, with how cautious the rebels are being, saying no at this point would undoubtedly alarm them. There is no greater sin than betrayal. I'm willing to risk my life to find the traitor and bring them to justice. Then, you'll have to get your hands dirty. Right, I'm ready to go. your service. Ready for combat. Ambi, in position. A 
According to Soldier 11, the information on this weapon test is highly classified within the military. How did Mr. Mole get access to it at his rank? After all, he is not the owner of the strongest AI in New Eridu. This is the Autonomous Support Unit Lightfoot Rover. What a pain. We'll need to take down the main body, or else it'll continuously send drones after us. Target acquired. Electro engine. This is the gate's emergency switch. Just press here. Broken. Initiating backup plan. Come on, follow me. Stay focused. Forget the ethereals. This is it. Come over here. All right, we're here. The info the spy asked us to steal is right here. Am I the only one who can't see anything? Exactly. That's the effect I'm after. The Rebels want info on our armaments, specifically data on one of the Defense Force's secret experimental weapons. The weapon itself was abandoned in this hollow after being damaged in an accident. Everything about it is top secret. If anyone outside the Defense Force, like you, were to ever see what it looked like, even just the damaged body, I'd have to arrange constant surveillance on you to ensure nothing related to it ever leaked. So the fact I'm helping you doesn't matter? It is exactly because you are my support that I need to make sure you don't see it. Ignorance will protect you. I'll finish this next part alone. Wait for me here. Oh, and search for an escape route. Not the way we came, but a different path. So cautious. Seems whatever Mr. Mole wants is something really important. And why does Soldier 11 want us to search for other escape routes? Wouldn't it be faster to just leave the way we came? Searching for an alternative path. Due to a large amount of corrupted intelligent machinery, the percentage of invalid data is abnormally high. I will require more time for an accurate calculation. Calculate in the background, Barry. The client is back. Get down and cover your ears. Roger. Three. Two, one. Obedient soldiers live longer. You've got some quick reflexes. Well done. I extracted the data we needed from the damaged experimental weapon. Provided the remains weren't entirely corrupted, such an action would activate its confidentiality procedure and start a self-destruct sequence. And that's exactly what happened. It was a loyal soldier, worthy of the Defense Force. 
Such a big explosion will attract enemies. It's not just the enemy I'm concerned about. My unit is wrapping up testing on a weapons experiment nearby. If the sound of the explosion leads unwitting teammates to follow the same path, recognize me, and thus question my loyalty. Perhaps you can't relate, but in the military, loyalty is everything. That's why I wanted you to search for other escape routes. I don't want to be seen by anyone else right now. So, did you find another path? Negative. 38.65% remaining until an accurate calculation. But I can guide you as far as the area I've finished calculating. We've got a direction. Excellent. Let's move. The way back is no longer safe. Help us find another exit if you would, Proxy. If memory serves, let's try this way. Warning. High energy ethereal signal detected. Master, is running necessary when ambushing someone from behind? This will lead to revealing our location just like... Uh... The enemies are endless. Keep moving. Please note, an active military communication beacon was detected at this location. Presumably, a defense force remnant. I can use its communication network data to enhance the efficiency of my calculations, and thusly more quickly locate an escape route. The suggestion, reach this location by any means necessary. Um, isn't this a Defense Force communications beacon? Soldier 11, I have a request. What do you need? Hmm, use the Defense Force's communication beacon to assist in searching for an escape route from the Hollow. Very well, if it actually works. Are you sure? Communication data is highly sensitive. The Defense Force constantly cleans and updates it. The data in this beacon is probably outdated. If the real Faithen were here, they might be able to find some traces of confidential info on it. Luckily, you're just an imposter, so I don't have to worry about leaked secrets. I'm actually quite surprised it can be used to find an escape route. mixed emotions. Was that a compliment or an insult? Challenge accepted. I will even obtain the Defense Force Commander-in-Chief's lock screen password. When did you become so competitive? 
Don't make things complicated. Just calculate an escape route. Comparing network data to filter out redundant information. New hollow escape route located. Filtering out redundant information. New hollow exit located. Energy ethereal signal detected. Impressive. You maintained eye contact with an ethereal for over 10 minutes. You can surely beat your second assistant in your next staring contest. Fighting our time also sounds like a good option. Energy ethereal signal detected. Master, is running necessary when ambushing someone from behind? This will lead to revealing our location just like... Uh... Necessary. This will lead to revealing our location. Don't let him distract you! Proxy, leave them! Unit Heavy Striker. 
Its ether shield can withstand most light attacks. Attack from behind. I'm not finished. Don't be afraid. It won't hurt. Everything. I found you. Supporting fire. My identity remains a secret. It's all thanks to you, Burgundy Silhouette. The bizarre code names keep coming. I'll add it to our business card. How does it feel to get your hands dirty? People wear gloves when their hands might get dirty. I'm just a glove for the Defense Force. Stains on a glove are no big deal. I don't want to pry, but... You must have your own thoughts too, right? Betrayal is disgusting. But in the current circumstances, bearing this disgust is, in itself, a kind of true loyalty. Even if covered in this filth, I'd never mistake myself for a true traitor, if that's what you're asking. The operation is tonight. The spy has arranged a meeting between me and the rebel leader. I just need you to get me to the designated location. So the defense force is ready to close the net? That doesn't concern civilians. The defense force has dispatched their elite. The rebels cannot be allowed to escape. We mustn't delay. Let's move out. <sighs> and well done. For what? You weren't late. Did you just smile? Does that surprise you? Lots of things make me smile. Combat merits, promotions, the blood of traitors, extra spicy noodles, and comrades I can work with for a long time. I look forward to working with you again, Crimson Twilight. But do not betray my trust, or your punishment will be by my own hand. One, two, yes, all is standing by.
The rendezvous with the traitor is just ahead. Warning, unknown threat detected. Something's off, Proxy. Stay alert. Mr. Mole, Faithen has guided me to the meeting place, but your leader isn't here. And there are soldiers everywhere. What's going on? <laughs> Does my laughter sound full of rage, Sergeant? Because I can hardly contain my anger! You dare take advantage of my admiration for Faithen with this imposter! Calm down, Mr. Mole. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't treat me like a fool! I know you don't intend to defect! Does the name Crimson Twilight sound familiar to you? Doesn't ring a bell. You see, the crafty broker Shepard's intelligence network has long since been compromised. I'm not interested in personal grudges between intelligence brokers, of course. All you need to know is... This is the end for you! We don't wage wars unprepared. I don't expect bugs scavenging in the dirt to understand matters of military integrity. What are you talking about?! You're not the only ones who planned ahead. Our elite soldiers are on their way right now. Surrender your weapons while you can. Otherwise, you'll become nothing but martyrs. Trigger, current position status. What? It's not going through. Don't bother, Sergeant and Imposter! I'm sure you're familiar with signal jamming, right? This equipment belongs to the Defense Force, after all. That's right! It's the transmission device you tried bugging me with last time! You modified it to record any messages it sent, but you never expected it to have already been modded by me! Now, across the entire Hollow, only our troops can communicate! Your dear comrades in the Defense Force are like headless flies right now! But they won't be waiting long. We'll send them to their deaths right after dealing with you! You're fooling yourselves, traitors! Leave these fools to me! I'll hold them off to buy you some time. Now, fake Faithen, please go help my lost allies. Run! I'll hold them off! Calculating emergency evacuation route. You can't get away! Catch that bang boo! We're no pushovers either. Calculating emergency evacuation route. I've detected the enemy signal given the client's difficult situation. I suggest... You needn't worry. Your all-powerful assistant has located a nearby Defense Force contact station. Get yourself there, and we can find a way out. This ejector should be useful. Extracting carrot data.
Decompiling encrypted files. Soldier 11's private number found, creating a backup. No. Even if the contact station could try all the secret channels at once, there's too much static on the network to receive a signal. Suggestion. Abandon the existing Defense Force communication protocols and reestablish a new communication network. I can try to retrieve the Defense Force communications data left over from the previous two commissions and establish a temporary link. I thought that clear cache button on your screen was just for show. But now it's a real lifesaver. Just please be quick about it. Military Communications Network Basic Edition uploaded. Things are tense right now. You can all thank me later. Uh, it worked! We got a signal from outside! I see you. You are? Don't worry. I work with Soldier 11. Thanks to you, communications have been restored. I am aware of your cooperation with Soldier 11. We will reorganize our offensive on our own. Please hurry back to support Soldier 11. Going back the way we came is the fastest way to get to Soldier 11. But the road is packed with rebels, and we're alone. Don't worry. I'll do my best to cover you. You're going to join us. Are you coming now? That's not needed. As I said, I see you, and that's enough. Sniper trigger in position. Please, feel free to move out. We're counting on you to save Soldier 11. I'll cover your return from here. I'll cover your advance. Looks like Soldier 11 bought here. This is worrying. We should hurry. You cannot pass! Ugh, the road is closed! We have to press both devices at once. Give me a hand. They broke through the lock so quickly? Target locked. Overpowered, requesting backup.
just one person, but it's useless. Coming from the Defense Force, you should understand. Individual strength is futile when faced with professional military teamwork. Surrender, Defense Force rat! You guys proved pretty tough, but it's useless. from the defense force you should understand your little tricks are futile when faced with professional military teamwork uh, but what earth fix the network for them that fake faith in oh right you don't get it because you're nothing but a despicable traitor Chance, let's pursue. They're over there. Traitors, twelve o'clock. <laughs> the imposter is catching up. Why is this so difficult? I can't believe there's anyone in the world as incredible as Faithen! Yeah, I don't know what to believe anymore! Thank you. You're too kind. Alright, brothers! You're up! Remember! For true justice! Charge! Whoa! Yes, sir. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Don't let them through! The rest of you? There's no escape. Your weapons are your life. You should be well aware that prisoners of war are taken good care of. Just give me the whereabouts of Mr. Mole, and I'll make sure you get the treatment you deserve. If... If that's what she says, Warrant Officer, they're real tough. We don't stand much chance with so little firepower. Warrant Officer is my old title. Under our banner of justice, we are all equal as comrades in arms. We shall not cease in exposing war crimes. We shall not cease our march. True justice is on our side. Charge! <sighs> really? We're really gonna charge? <sighs> That's all we can do! Taking up arms gives us a chance, but casting them aside leads only to a dead end. How? How do you mean? Let me be straight with you. That first girl, the one called Soldier Eleven, I've heard of her before. I don't know when it started, but she really hates traitors. Rumors say, if she comes across anyone who betrays the Defense Force, well... They never leave the interrogation room alive. You mean she offed them? That, that, that can't be true, right? Her people make the paperwork airtight, of course. In any case, I don't want her catching me. Those hands, they've long been stained by the blood of her victims. They aren't having any reaction. <sighs> I see. Seems like the only way to get them to listen is by force. Hmm. If you want to blame someone, play your own bad luck. Activate Heavy Striker! Open fire! Hit! Almost finished. Standing by. Hit! Hit! 
Ready and waiting. Get out of my way! you before you'll show rebels like us no mercy it's true my men are clueless i've always been the one to contact mr mole do what you want with me but them please send them to a military tribunal so they can at least get a fair trial i think there's a misunderstanding i'm a soldier not a brute everyone including you is going to get court-martialed you aren't going to hit me i don't know what you've heard as i recall you've just confessed to being closely associated with mr mole tell me where he went and you all will have plenty of room to negotiate your sentences the prisoners were stubborn but they finally gave up the mole's escape route Perhaps it's not my place to ask, but is what he said true? You mean, about me disposing of rebels? Soldiers follow their superiors' orders. That includes orders not known to the public. In fact, the only thing shared publicly is the summer menu for the canteen. I did what I must as a soldier. My loyal service doesn't require me to be a perfect and flawless individual. Do we have to keep discussing this? All that's left to do now is to chase down the mole. Lead the way, Proxy. Get ready! The showdown is near! are mine to punish. Just good. What can I say? Wise, did you notice? Soldier Eleven and her team left. 
probably to take in the prisoners. So, here right now, it's just us. <laughs> Who's talking? It's not the same voice as fake faith and... Your scheme almost worked out. But you were wrong about two things. First, you underestimated the soldier. Second, the truth is, we are the real Thethan. <gasps> uh, the hollow is rapidly shrinking. Our work here is done. We should really get out of here, Wise. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Help me. Lord Thethan, let me be your dog. <laughs> Everything has gone quiet. I suppose that's the conclusion, then. Sorry, we went ahead earlier. Some of the prisoners can't stay in the hollow for long. What about your teammates? I sent them back first. If we get the chance, Crimson Twilight, I hope to formally introduce all of you. I was impressed with your acting and your quick response, not to mention your skill as a proxy. Truthfully, I'm not Crimson Twilight. My real name is Phaethon. This show's over. You acted the part well. I'm sure you'll be just as famous as Faith in one day. Well, I should be heading back. Perhaps I'll stop for some noodles along the way. I heard there's a super spicy noodle place nearby that's worth checking out. If that's so, then you should see me around here more often, Crimson Chili. Please, call me Faithen. Hmm. Fake it till you make it, right? I think I get it. Goodbye, Faithen. I hope we can both have some good noodles tonight.